Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Women in Astronomy, we are going to talk about Henrietta Leavitt and her contributions to astronomy. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, she was born in 1868 in Massachusetts and lived until 1921. Uh, she was educated in astronomy, studying at Oberlin College and then the school that would later become Radcliffe College associated with Harvard University. Now, her scientific work started that she was one of the computers. She actually volunteered as one of the computers, uh, which were the women who worked at the Harvard College Observatory. So we see some of them here, including um, Henrietta Leavitt. And she was assigned various different things there. They worked on a number of different things in terms of classifying stars and cataloging stars. And one of the projects she was later given in 1902 was to measure stellar brightnesses, how bright those stars were. But her real major contribution to astronomy was in 1912 when her paper was published that showed the relationship between the brightness of Cepheid variables and their periods. This was what is now called Miss Levitt's Law because it was very important in that it became the first what we call standard candle in astronomy, something that astronomers had been looking for ways to be able to measure distances. Now, the one way to measure distance that had been used at this point is parallax. Parallax is the shift of a nearby star relative to the more distant stars as the Earth moves around the sun. However, it only works for the very closest stars. It's not good for measuring great distances. So people had looked for this way to be able to measure things more accurately. And what she found was that there was a relationship in this case between the period here, how, how long it took the Cepheid to vary, and its brightness, its magnitude, as we call it. So by looking at those two, this straight line relationship that came out was very important because it was showing that there was a direct relationship between how bright a Cepheid was and its period. A very bright Cepheid would have a longer period. A very faint Cepheid would have a shorter period. So now what, what does that mean? Why is that important? That lets us determine the distance to these objects. How? Well, the period is something very easy to measure. You simply observe the Cepheid over a period of days, weeks, or months, depending on how long that period is. And once you measure that period, that's something relatively easy to get. Then, because of the period luminosity relationship, once you measure the period, you can then just go and read off what the luminosity is. And that tells us then the brightness. And by knowing the brightness, how bright it truly is, what we call its intrinsic luminosity, and its apparent brightness, that allows us to determine the distance. So we can get the distances directly as long as the Cepheid can be seen. And Cepheid variables can be seen out to great distances, millions of light years even. And in fact, this was later used by Edwin Hubble to determine the distance to the Andromeda galaxy, two and a half million light years away. And that confirmed it as being an external galaxy and not something within our own galaxy. Unfortunately, Henrietta Leavitt died in 1921 of stomach cancer, which was a few years before Hubble used her law to be able to confirm that Andromeda was indeed an external galaxy like our own Milky Way. So let's go ahead and finish up here with our summary. And what we've looked at today, we said that Henrietta Leavitt, born in 1868 in Massachusetts, observed variable stars and determined the period luminosity relationship for Cepheids, now called Leavitt's Law. This was the first standard candle in astronomy, allowing us to be able to measure distances to the stars, something that was very, very hard to do before this. So that concludes this discussion of Henrietta Leavitt. We'll be back again next week to talk about another woman in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.